Okay, yeah, so the reason why many Christians, even nowadays, still listen to secular music and justify this is because, I'll give you one example, which I can think of off of the top of my head. They will say something like, this person came out of a Christian household. Do you know how many of the singers nowadays, and also in the past, grew up in a Christian home and became secular artists? You mentioned a few already, you mentioned one person, one Maybe. of the people, not her. Maybe answer. Yes. She came out of a Christian, okay. I'm not sure, I've, I use the air quotes or the quotations because I'm not sure whether it was only nominal Christians, meaning they said that they were Christians, but they actually weren't, I'll have to verify this, or they were real Christians, and then this doesn't count, then they were real Christians. Whatever the case may be, she knew about Christ. Same thing with Elvis Presley. Same thing with Katy Perry. All these famous people, same thing with Mariah Carey. Yes, I think she is one. Mm, I've heard someone say that she is um a Chris she used to be a Christian. Someone said it, um um, um Bishop Mar Mari actually said it. Ah, that yeah, they I used see. to sing in choirs but in the Houston. Yes, they and used stuff. to most of them got their start in Christian choirs, in yeah. church choirs. Most of them. And then There is the one who's pretty famous right now, Taylor Swift as well. She calls herself a Christian. But you should see the kind of things that they say. You see, people say one thing, but what does the Bible say? How do we recognize a tree? The fruit. If those people, exactly, if those people do not bring forth good fruit, but bad fruit, and bad fruit is also something like saying that what God says is not true. For example, I'm a Christian, but I am pro-LGBTQIA+. You cannot be a Christian and be pro this. You cannot be a Christian and be pro-abortion. You know what? Abortion is killing babies. Mm. You cannot be a Christian and support things from the devil. But many of them, and now I'm deliberately doing it because they are Christians in name only. They are not Christians. They're deceiving themselves. They believe that they're Christians. But they are children of the devil, but they don't know it. And one day, if they don't repent and they don't come to Christ, they do not become born again of water and of the Spirit, and they do not repent, turn from their wicked ways, change their minds and say, yes, what I say is wrong, what the Word of God says is the truth. If they do not do this, they will go to hell and then be thrown into the lake of fire. And they will be part of those people who say, Lord, Lord. And Jesus will say, depart from me, I never knew you. All right, there's a few more, excuse me, there are a few more clips I'd like to show you, and we can pause again. ...that we looked at now. What did we see? Well, um, she admitted that, um, you know, she opens herself up, she's, the, she's a target, and the devil knows that she has influence, so um, she opens herself up to demonic entities, and um, they use her basically as a vessel to get through to the audience. Yes, correct. She calls this evil spirit, Sasha, that's the name that she mm. gives to it, Beyonce. This evil spirit takes her over and lets her be able to dance sexually and sensually the way mm. that she does. Mm. This is sexually provocative. Mm. Our flesh, we enjoy looking at mm. stuff like this. Let's be honest. Let's not lie now. So... Those evil spirits, they cause her to be able to do this. This is not usually her character. All right? Yeah. So she opens herself up, like you just stated, to the evil realm, which gives her the ability to be able to be the way that she is. And she came, once again, out of a Christian household. This is scary to think yeah. about that. But she is willing, and was willing, and still, as far as I know to this day, sold her soul to the devil, for fame and for fortune, because she wants to be famous. Now, there's one more example that I want to show you guys. Some people will come right out and tell you. And what I don't understand is when people come right out and tell you, just like we saw right now, Katy Perry, telling this reporter that she sold her soul to the devil, and yet the people, they don't think anything about it. What do they think when they listen to this? Do they think she's making a joke? 
And she's not the only one who has done this, publicly, excuse me, publicly come out and stated that she's done so. There are other people which have also said this. And if you look at their music videos, all of the satanic symbolism that is going on, all of these wicked, evil things that they do, many of the music videos will have black and white. Everything like that in there, they will have some sort of a ritualistic bath that they will do. They will go and dip themselves into blood, for example. You have to yeah, just check it out. Yeah. I encourage you, if you want, I would... Let's not do it because we don't want to fill ourselves with evil things. No. But you can see it. If you want to see it, you can see it. I'm not joking. They do these things. And the things that they speak of, the kind of wicked, evil things that they do. Some people eat their own women. When they give birth, they have a placenta. And they eat their placenta. And then they mix it together with your people's urine and things like this. And they eat this kind of stuff. It's sick, the what? things that they do. But they do this and they say it. It comes out of their own mouth. I'm not saying it, I will prove it. You can check it and verify all of this. And this is what is really sad, that although they come right out and tell you who they are serving, the people still don't recognize. It's like there's something in front of their eyes. Like with the people of Israel, they are blind. They do not recognize that Jesus is the Messiah. It's like they've got a veil before their eyes. They just don't want to hear the truth. Mm. But we know the truth, and that is the reason why I tell you, do not listen to this kind of music. Do not fill yourself with their music. Yes, it makes you want to move, like you yourself said. It makes you, it causes something inside of you, it stirs something up. Certain music makes you sexually aroused. Mm. If I hear certain music, it sexually arouses me. Especially since I used to look at pornography, so I associate certain music with that. They would play certain music. Mm. Okay? So certain things have a specific effect on a human being. They do it on purpose because they know that there's a power behind that music. That's why we as Christians, we should not be listening to these kind of songs, not be filling ourselves with evil, wicked songs because they glorify Satan and because as we heard, they pray over them demonically. They are children of the devil. And it has an influence on you. It comes into you, and then it's in your mind, it goes into your heart, if you let it, and it can come out of your mouth, and it changes the way you act. It can cause you to sin as well. And we want to be holy, we want to be set apart. We want to live for Jesus in everything that we do. Now there's something else that I want to show you. Pause. Yes, thank you. Mary the cross. He had someone help him carry the cross. But at the beginning, yes, he did carry his cross on his own. All right. There are many times situations where we might go through something like that. We might feel sorry for Satan. I felt sorry for him. I felt sorry for the demons. They wanted me to feel sorry for them. They gave me feelings and said, oh, you know, we're your friends. So you think like, oh, well, you know, maybe they're not that bad, whatever. So yeah. you start feeling sorry for them. Yeah. But they are evil. They are wicked. They hate us. They want us dead. Mm. They are crazy. Mm. They are completely demacar. Mm. They can't think straight anymore. Mm. This is my experience. Yeah. I know that they are not fools. Mm. The devil is not a fool. Mm. Nor are demons and fallen angels fools. They are smart. Mm. If they were such fools, they would not have deceived billions of people. Yeah. There are more people in hell than there are in heaven. Yeah. And hell, the word of God says, it keeps on expanding, expanding, expanding. Mm. So, the devil is no fool. Mm. But, I see it this way. Satan knows that there's no more hope for him. And if you know there's no more hope for you anyways, so why not just do as what somehow he wants everybody to go to hell. That's what he wants. Mm. And the greatest pleasure I think that he gets is if he can take a child of God and take him away from God and drag him down to hell with mm. him. But he wants to have, he's out, we know, to kill, steal and destroy. Mm. Excuse me, that's what he wants to do. I think they, they have been, their hearts have been hardened as well, as yeah, the Lord to would explain point, to us. They cannot love anymore, yeah. those evil spirits. They yeah. cannot, they used to be, per the Bible says Satan was perfect. He was the most beautiful creature created by God. Does, does it say that? Yes, it says so in the word of God, in the Old Testament. Mm. 
he was perfect by go- created so by how God. do you think he was so created in a in a God form of ma- um, le- legs and hands does it say he was created in a form of he had a body a legs he was of- an angel he was the bible the bible says and this one passage excuse me there's one part in the bible which we when we read it makes us believe that it speaks about the devil it also speaks about i think it's the king of tyrus mm. but it's also speaking about satan and it says that he was a cherub a cherubim that type of an angel mm. the angel that those angels are responsible for taking care of the throne of god they, their wings would cover the throne of god so he would be right there mm. right there at god's throne mm. and then he wanted to sit on the throne himself he wanted to be god he didn't want to take care of the throne of god mm. he wanted to be worshiped as god mm. and every person and i don't care who it is every person wants to be their own god because mm. i can deter- i can determine what i want to do when i want to do it mm. nobody tells me what to do this is what every person wants they want the quote unquote freedom mm. to do whatever they want satan from the beginning the first lie which he told to adam and eve not to Adam and Eve, he spoke to Eve. I'm, I think he deliberately didn't speak with Adam then. Mm. He waited for the right moment to get the woman alone. Because if Adam would have been there, Adam would have said, it's a little strange. <laughs> mm. Maybe he would have said something. Mm. But he deliberately targeted the woman. Mm. And the Bible in the New Testament in Romans says, the woman transgressed, not the man. Mm. That's why a woman, like I said already before, she can make you or break you. Mm. She can be used by God mm. to... F- draw you closer she can be a helpmate the way she was created woman was created for man not man for woman yeah man was there before woman Mm. and out of our rib i don't know Mm. which side it was i don't know which rib it was but out of the rib of man out of adam adama that's the hebrew word for woman woman was created a woman adama adama is Mm. the hebrew word for Mm. woman Mm. adam is man adama is woman Mm. And she was created to help him. Mm. She sure did not help him. She made things a whole lot worse. But he did not have the courage to say, you know what, you can eat from the food. I will not disobey God. Mm. He could have said that. And he could have done something else. He could have told her, we are not going to disobey God. I am your head. The husband's the head of the wife. You do what I tell you. You're not going to eat from this food. Mm. And I'm also not going to eat from mm. this food. But. He didn't, unfortunately. And I also, there was a time in my life where I was upset and I thought, I wish I would have been there, then I would have said, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have taken from the fruit. I would have just let my wife eat it, and then God maybe would have given me another wife. I don't know. (laughs) You Mm. know? I don't know. But let's be honest, we don't know. Yeah, we can't say. Whether we would have acted that way or not. Because I think Paul says in one of his scripts that he doesn't have the power to judge himself even. Like, I don't think, like for me, I, I can't say for myself, was said when I don't think you would have done it, you know. But I do believe that. I also don't know, but that's just strange, man. Mm. No, we don't know. But he was the representative for mankind, and mm. through him, through his disobedience, God punished the man and the woman. Both got punished, but through him, sin came into the world. Mm. And ever since then, all of us are born as sinners. And Jesus Christ has to redeem us from our sin. Mm. However, the Bible also says that children belong to him. So there's an age, we call it the age of accountability, where a person's old enough to understand what is good and what is bad. Ek weet dit is goed, ek weet dit is slecht. Ek sal kies om dit te doen wat goed is, of ek sal kies om dit te doen wat kwaad is. Als ik oud genoeg is om dit te verstaan, dan is ik ook oud genoeg om te verstaan. Ik is een zondaar. Ik doe dingen wat niet goed is niet. Ik weet dat Jezus op die kruis voor mij zonde gesterf heeft. Ik weet dat hij een mens was, zoals ik een mens is. Ik weet dat hij gesterven heeft, dat hij opgevaren heeft in de hemel en dat hij een dag weer terug zal komen om die wereld te ordeelen. Die levendes en die doodjes. Ik weet dit. Ik kan dit begrijp. Ik is oud genoeg om dit te verstaan. Als ik bij die punt aangekomen is in mijn leven, dan zei de Heer, nou moet je besluit. Je besluit nou, wil je aan Jezus groeien? Wil je in de hemel gaan? Of wil je in de hel gaan? 
Net der Jesus kann uns in die Himmel, sondern Jesus kann einmal in die Hell. Aber die Jere heißt er He will judge everybody fair and righteously and justly. He will know this person, this child is old enough to understand. This child is not. Could be. It could be that one child is so old and one child is so old. Let's say they're both the same age, but the one doesn't understand yet. God knows. God knows the heart. But it's a decision that we have to make. I made that decision when I was around his age. I was pretty young. Mm. I understood. I can verstaan. I can sonda. I can verstaan. I benodig Jesus Christus. I can dit gesien. I can ook pil pilgrims progress. Pilgrims progress. Have ik gesien. En ik was ik was bang. Als ik dit gesien heb, ik was bang. Ik wil niet naar de hel toe gaan. En ik heb dan besluit. Ik ik wil naar de hemel toe gaan. En ik heb Jesus ontvang. Ontvang. So you're never too young to accept Jesus Christ. And some people, the Bible says, some people must be scared into heaven. Other people not. Other people you bring them in with love. Mm. There are different types of people in the world. Some people you tell, Jesus is big for you. And that shall him there to bring, that he say, yeah, I will for Jesus now for. But some people, you must scare them with hellfire, with the reality if you don't repent, that's yeah, where you're going. That's where you're going, yeah. Mm. So different types of people, but the Word of God teaches this. I think it's in the book of James. Some of them pull out of the fire, and others you have to treat with love. So different types of people need to be treated differently. But yes. I will just quickly skip forward. I don't want to show everything, but we can pause again. Mm. You can... Uh.